Another thing that I find very useful is you can change here the EV setting, right? And so I have the parking grade engaged. So if I change the setting here, I have a few settings here. I can go automatic, then it changes the mode automatically between uh, plug-in and uh, hybrid mode. And you can change it to EV only, so then it uses the battery first, the plug-in battery, you get about up to 22 miles, 23 sometimes, depending on how you drive. And uh, EV later, that means, let's say you hop on the highway, you know you're going to go fast, it's going to use battery quite a lot. Um, then what I usually do, I change it into hybrid uh, mode, so into EV later on the freeway. Um, and then when I get off the freeway, change it back to EV. And so auto is supposed to do that automatically for you, but I like to kind of like control it manually. It's a little bit of a trick. If you go like steep uphill, anything where you think, okay, that's gonna, you really use the battery, I switch into this EV later mode and it preserves that battery for when you get to your destination to stop and go traffic, right? If you really don't want to think about it, you can just leave it in auto and it's fine and it just treats it as one gigantic battery. Another thing is with, uh, people notice that when they have the AC on, obviously it uses a lot of, uh, it takes, it takes um, range away from the car. And that is true. Uh, let's say when we have the AC on, that would be the case when you're in electric mode only. But if you turn the AC off and it's cold enough outside and you lower the temperature, uh, the drain on the electrical system will be far, far less. Uh, because the car doesn't have to heat you up. So if that would be, if I would turn this up above uh, the temperature that's outside, uh, then uh, the electrical heater would have to kick in that uses energy. So, uh, which is fine if you want to do that, but if you just want to run the air circulation, for example, if you want to clean the air inside the car or something like that, like I've shown here, uh, make sure you put this below the outside temperature. And so if I have it at 64 or something like this, uh, it would just use the outside air and it would just use a fan to circulate the air and not tax anything. So I've, that's something a lot of um, um, plug-in, a lot of electric vehicle owners uh, complain about is that when they have just the fan, the air circulation fan running, it's using energy. That doesn't have to be the case. So that's one of the tricks I found out. So if you have an electric vehicle, and you just want to circulate the air, it's cold enough outside, you don't need a full-blown AC, and you feel that the, um, the vent is already, um, you know, taxing you in terms of battery, um, try this trick, all right? Showing 24 miles, that is pretty good. That means that battery is in perfect condition. If you have a C-Max, uh, plug-in C-Max, or if you have a Ford Fusion uh, Energy, so they're both energy with the I, or in a, yeah, in a G, whatever, uh, 24 is as much as you're going to get, and that's for a brand new car. Some people get 18 or something like that. So 24 is a great range, and, that, and that's with uh, the system running here. So if I, if I would not turn on the heat, right, uh, that would immediately drop to... 20 C the climate is using some kilowatts so we turn this lower to a lower temperature it doesn't have to generate any heat and that dropped down immediately uh, to, to uh, went back up to 24 and if we turn on the AC well, obviously with the AC it's kind of the same thing but the AC uses just as much as the normal uh, heater would so heating or cooling with an electric vehicle uses exactly the same amount so now I'm getting nice cool air coming in from the outside. Um, so I turn that off. See, so I turn that off. Uh, the range does not go up. So that is your trick right there. And here we have the status of battery charging. The car is currently plugged in. There's another setting here. When you click on settings, it gives you exactly how much has been charged. And you can also program when the car charges, depending on how much you pay at night or during the day for charging, or if you want it to have to be in a certain schedule, schedule and so forth. Uh, you can turn off charging, you can start it at a specific time. That is a pretty cool feature. 
Um, and again, here is you see exactly how much charge the car has. Right now, uh, I'm charging it. Right now, you can also uh, you also have here on the dash a little icon on the left uh, that'll show you that the car is currently plugged in. And so now it is charging the HV battery. Right? Okay. So uh, that is one thing uh, to know. And you can turn the car off, obviously. And you'll hear a little bit of a fan noise coming from the back that's cooling the battery, which which is great, which is what you want. And then, yeah, yeah, thanks for driving a hybrid, and it says hybrid, but we are a plug-in hybrid, right? So once that battery runs out, um, it switches to hybrid, so gas and battery. Uh, it makes it seem like it's two batteries, in reality, it's one battery, but the software sections it off uh, into two different uh, um, virtual batteries. So if one runs out, let's say the regular plug-in battery runs out, you still have the um, hybrid battery that coordinates power with the engine, like on the Toyota Prius.